Massachusetts, John Hollis from St. Louis, Marco Saparas from L.A., and Carmen Williamson from Toledo. The action begins. Quickly, Tillman goes to the familiar role. Steady movement. Try and use the jab and keep Tyson off you. He was knocked down in the first round, Tillman was, by Tyson and Fort Worth on June the 10th. Came back to win the fight. crowd yelling cut him off Michael you heard Tyson say that's exactly what he wants to do plans to do if he can do it Tillman will keep using that jab get it in there score and get out in a hurry if he can very basic boxing man. Thus far, it's been almost a replay of the first fight between the two, except that from nowhere, Tyson got to Tillman in the first round. One can see Tyson developing from fight to fight as a boxer, I mean. No longer awkward. Flat-footed, he's not fast, no question about that. He doesn't have the body to be fast. But he's not ponderous either. Coming to the end of round one. You watch Tyson fight, and there's an air of expectancy. When will he connect? And then what happens if he does? How is he at finishing a fight? Couldn't do it in the first fight. But he's got a succession of knockouts as an amateur. First round ends, we'll be back. You see Mike Tyson, the bell for the second round. Elmo Adolph, the referee. First round, I think, fought to Tillman's pace and plan. to get in there. Chris D'Amato feels that the Amateur judges have not been fair to his fighter. He thought Tyson won the last time around against Tillman. He's entitled to his opinion, of course. But Tillman won a unanimous decision. And one is always very subjective about one's fighter. Oh, 
Broadway setting the high mark in excitement. In this, he's trying to force the action. Up there, you saw Tillman get in a couple of blows and then out. This won't be too easy a fight to score either, unless something dramatic happens. We go over to Mike Tyson's corner. Customato, by the way, does not work the corner. Gus is 76 years old now. He's the legal guardian of that young man. And the young man is really his life. It's as simple as that. I don't know. He just doesn't seem to be up mentally or physically. Maybe he'll be different in the ring. Round three. Let's see what Tyson can do. Touch wild there. No more aid off cautioning Tyson, as you saw. Back to the action. I'd like to seize a moment, if I may. Blue Knowledge, president of ABC News and Sports, had recent minor surgery, is recovering very swiftly, will be back on the job next week. And uh, on behalf of his many minions posted everywhere, we should like to wish him very well indeed. Third and final round, a good right by Tyson. Finally, finally he got that in there. And Tillman felt it and he will stay away. Didn't come until the third round. Tillman knows this is no time for him to make a mistake. However, Tillman has not fought nearly as effectively as he did in Fawford. I don't think. So little scoring by either party. The fight clearly forced in terms of aggressiveness, but that doesn't count in amateur boxing. It does count in professional boxing scoring. Aggressive. to the end of the fight. And Tyson would so like to get in there and score. Okay, that's it. We follow Mike Tyson to his corner, and I think he's got a better shot at winning this fight by far than he had the last time around. We'll be back with more coverage of the Olympic box-offs after this ABC promo and a word from our local stations. The winner in the heavyweight division and an established member of the 1984 Olympic team from Los Angeles, California, in the red corner, Henry. 
So they gave it to Henry Tillman, obviously on the basis of more apparent style in class. The aggressor was Mike Tyson, but as I explained, aggressiveness in amateur boxing is not rewarded with points. What is rewarded with points, that's what I meant earlier in the evening when I said defense can be as important.